All of the very best third party Android launchers offer something unique, be that customization or even a minimal aesthetic. But with that in mind, here are the best to install on your Android phone here in 2022 and then maybe beyond. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Absolutely no list of the best Android launchers would be complete without Nova. This is the most popular third-party home screen replacement for Android, and it has evolved and changed over the years, but the experience remains pretty much exceptional. A recent Nova Launcher 7 rewrite offers one of the biggest upgrades in years here too. Faster, lighter, and with more customizations to fully tweak your daily experience, Nova Launcher 7 is a powerful app for you to download and use on your smartphone or even your tablet. The startup theming options just go way beyond most stock launchers out there, plus you have the ability to adjust all manner of your UI portions to suit your specific needs. Areas such as folder pop-outs, home screen grid layouts, icons, fonts, and size are just the start of the numerous other customization controls that are available at your fingertips and allow you to do things such as disable all animations or add options to add pop-up menus for even quicker access to important controls that you need throughout the day. The added search functionality goes above and beyond the inbuilt on-device search found on many devices here too. If you haven't already taken a look at Nova, you really should here in 2022. Unlike Nova though, Launcher Launcher mimics the Pixel Launcher, which is found on Google's smartphones and offers a really clean kind of googly look and feel for just about every Android phone out there. It's not technically the most impressive launcher in terms of feature set, but even though it looks identical at first glance to the Pixel Launcher, it provides just enough customization over that particular option on Pixel devices, making it worth a visit. Firstly, there's the ability to set custom icon packs. This alone is probably gonna be worth it if you want a little bit more than the frustrating and admittedly basic themed icons, which are found in Android 12 on the Pixel Launcher. You can go much, much further by adjusting things such as app accent color, tweak and create your own shapes as well for icons, and just much, much more to boot. The At A Glance widget also still favors the pre-Android 12 design, and this is standard on the Launcher Launcher 2, but you can just adjust what appears here or kind of prompt you, which is kind of a neat inclusion that we wish Google would offer more readily on their own version. The Google Discover feed can also be added, but you'll need to sideload the Lawn Feed APK to get this working correctly. It's very easy and rounds out a great alternative for pixel owners out there wanting an Android launcher that isn't bogged down or bloated and has a virtually the same smooth performance, albeit with a few extra customization controls. And for anyone who doesn't have a Pixel, you can get your very own Pixel experience on your smartphone. A lot of launchers on Android follow a familiar layout and despite some differences in how things are implemented, effectively they all run the same or provide a similar end product. Niagara Launcher though is a completely different beast as it forgoes the traditional homepage layout in favor of what is a fusion of the app drawer and home screen and this does mean that it is going to be a very acquired taste for pretty obvious reasons. Niagara relies on a small pool of favorites, which you'll need to pre-select when setting this launcher up. And these appear at the top of what is a usually alphabetical scrollable list of everything installed on your phone. Above that, you can enable widgets, which show upcoming events, give quick weather and battery stats, plus a little bit more. It all feels very functional in a good way. A bonus here is that notifications can be shown on your home screen, which means you don't actually need to expand the quick settings panel quite as often as you maybe would. And the alphabetical sidebar lets you quickly scroll to any apps you have hidden out of view. Swipe actions open up the ability to access quick shortcuts and even view individual app notifications at a glance. Sadly though, you can't put apps into distinct on-device folders, but you are able to hide anything to help make it easy to navigate through that large scrolling list if you do have a lot of apps installed. Niagara might not be the taste or the best taste for everyone out there, but it's a unique launcher for Android owners to try out with added pro features, including a weather and agenda widget, custom fonts, plus much more priced at what is reasonably affordable, $5.99 per year. Designed to be a central hub away from your PC for all of your accounts and apps, the Microsoft Launcher is great if you do use Windows 10 or 11, OneDrive or any other Microsoft services heavily. It certainly does not look the best, nor does it offer quite the same level of customization as Nova and even the Launcher Launcher. However, you can adjust much of your home screen and even get a daily wallpaper courtesy of the often not used search engine Bing. 
Microsoft has baked in a Your Feed panel as well that mimics the OnePlus shelf to a little bit of an extent. This Google Discover feed replacement is far more useful if you do already use Microsoft services and a lot of Windows features. It contains synced calendars, to-do lists, sticky notes, plus screen time and even recent activities data. While Microsoft's launcher is not perfect for all Android users, it might be ideal if you are heavily invested in Windows and want an extension of your desktop on your smartphone. If you want a completely different launcher layout and usage methodology in the camp of, say, Niagara, then you might want to try Ratio, which is an Android launcher from the firm Block, who used to make smartphones. And this Android launcher aims to curb your bad smartphone habits with things such as app timers and tracking app usage with a monochrome theme with just a little bit a splash of color, which obviously is aimed at reducing your overall smartphone screen time. It can take a little while to orient yourself, but the entire experience is undoubtedly slick and takes inspiration from a number of places. After leaving beta, Ratio 6 has recently released some very interesting new features, including the brand new Conversations shelf. This rightmost section is home to almost all, but not quite all of your messaging apps, and is one of the killer features in this latest update. Effectively, this groups all of your contact chats into one easy to manage place, so you don't have to manually open each application to continue the conversation. And this cleans up your messaging experience. Ratio is actually one of the only launchers on Android to offer such a feature. On the opposite side of the screen, you'll also find the root section, which mimics the iOS widget draw. You don't get a wealth of widgets, but blocks design are sleek, information rich, and basically to the point. A home screen dock is also now available too, with a persistent search widget for navigating your smartphone and helping you quickly search to find things that you need. That said, at $50 per year or $150 for a lifetime account, this could be a major sore point for some out there as this is easily the most expensive option in our shortlist. However, there is a lot here that you literally won't get elsewhere and some may value the experience over other options. You can trial run for seven days for free to see if it is a good fit for you. But that said, this is a truly premium launcher for those that maybe want a little, something a little bit different. At the other end of the spectrum to ratio and the premium experience, if you feel like sometimes your phone gets in the way of your daily life or inhibits you day to day, then there are a number of limited launchers on Android. One of the best that we've tried and used is less phone. And the idea here is to actually reduce your smartphone usage and it does this by limiting app access to just four on the free tier or eight on the $1.39 paid tier. There is an inbuilt to-do task list, plus some with some in-app purchases, you can unlock more themes and further app list additions. If you find yourself spending far too much time on your smartphone though, then less fun can really help curb your bad habits as it is ridiculously basic and it kind of points you further away from your smartphone. Action Launcher is another one of the all around good options for just about every Android owner out there. And it's a classic that sits alongside Nova, thanks to the customizability, update speed, and it just has a huge user base overall. Developer Chris Lacey has also created Action Dash, which offers digital wellbeing features to any Android phone out there, no matter the model or the build number that you're running. If you do have this add-on installed, it acts as a plugin and it unlocks some extra features within Action Launcher. The launcher has kind of developed into a more capable version of the Pixel launcher, the longer it's been around, that does go beyond what Launcher offers in terms of custom controls and extras. There's also a few iOS features that have made the jump across the iPhone Android divide. It's join Action Launcher here, including widget stacks. Plus, you can also set custom folder icons or even create app draw folders among a ton of other little tweaks that we think you definitely might want to check out. So naturally, the wealth of choice afforded by Android means that you don't even need to agree with our particular shortlist here. We want to know what is your favorite or kind of go to launcher or even launchers if you use multiple. Be sure to let us know down in the comment sections below what you use and why. But as always, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.